Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to add pages in Footer in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, to add the pages into the Footer is really easy. First of all, let me show you that the theme that I'm using here. So for that, I would go into the appearance and click on the themes. And here you will be able to see that I'm using the Astral theme here. Okay, so you can simply install this from here by clicking on add new theme. And here you can simply search for the Astral. And then from here, you will be able to install and activate this. Okay, so I have already installed and activated. So that is why I don't have to do this again. Okay, so after that, what we have to do, we have to go into the pages to have a look that how many pages that we have. So right now, you can see this, I have around 9 to 10 pages. That is enough for me right now to add the pages into the footer. Okay, so after that, what you have to do, you have to go inside the appearance and click on the menus. Alright, so as you can see here, I have already created the footer menu here. So we have the four pages into this and we also have one more footer menu that is footer menu one. Alright, so I will tell you the reason why I have created two footer menus, but not now. Okay, so right now if I just click on the footer menu one, select this, you will be able to see that we have the four pages as well here. We have the portfolio, we have the contact, blog and the above. Alright, so now it's the time to add our footer menu into our footer. Okay, so for that we have to go inside the widgets. And if I just open up my website here, that is pretty simple right now. You will be able to see that in my footer, I'm only having this copyright text. Other than that, it has nothing. Okay, so if I go back here. And here you can see here that we have the two sections. We have the footer bar section 1 and footer bar section 2. Okay. So right now I'm going to simply click on the footer bar section 1 and click on the add block and here I'm going to write down menu. So you'll be able to see the option of navigation menu here. So let's click on this and I would also add the title to my footer menu. So the first one would be let's say user. So now let's select the footer menu 1 here. Perfect. So let's click on update. Now let's go back to our website, refresh the page. Alright, so after updating, you can see here that we have the user as the title and we have our footer menu 1. So similarly, we're going to add the second one. So let's just add the second menu here. So let's just write down menu. Click on the navigation menu. So write down company here. Alright. And here I'm going to select footer menu 2. So let's select this one and let's just update this. Alright. So now what I have to do, I have to click on customize. Alright, so in the customizer, as you can see here that we are having the footer builder. So let's click on this. And here what I have to do, I actually have to add the widgets here. Okay. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to add the four column structure here. So let's click on the setting here. This is actually the primary footer. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the primary footer here. So I'm going to go here with the four column structure. Alright. So the four column structure, I'm going to add the four different widgets. Okay, so let's just add the first widget. Let's just add the second widget here. Let's just add the third widget. And let's just add the fourth widget here. So in these widgets, we're going to add our footer menus. Okay, so if I just click on the add block and search for, let's say, the menu here. Click on the navigation menu. Perfect. All right, so now let's just select the footer menu one. And this would be the user. All right, so I think I have to repeat the process that I have done here. Okay, in the footer bar section one and the footer bar section two. Okay, so now we have to go back and let's click on the second widget. Let's click on the add block, write down menu here. Click on the navigation menu. So let's just say this would be the company and I'm going to select here the footer menu two. And now you'll be able to see the title and our footer menu okay so the reason for creating the two different menus so that we can add the pages into our footer in the different section or in the portions okay so right now i only have the two menus so i'm going to simply copy paste the menu one and the menu two in my widget three in the four okay so here let's say this would be right down the menu click on the navigation menu all right so here the title would be let's say editorial so let's just select the footer menu one here. All right. So now in the last widget, we're going to add our footer menu. Okay. So let's click on the widget four, click on the add block, write down the menu here. 
click on the navigation menu and here I would add the title of services and in the menu I'm going to select footer menu 2 alright so now as you can see here that we have added the pages into our footer so now let's click on publish and now let's go back to our website refresh the page now you'll be able to see that we have added the pages into our footer and we have added it into the different sections by creating the multiple footer menus so this is how we can add the pages into the footer so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel